Okay, I'm in it. I've been slacking off. I said slacking. It's time for a massacre. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Row, row, fight the power. Row, row, fight the power. Row, row, fight the power. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Metabots Meta B version. I am the Medieval Massacre, and in the last one, I put an April Fool's joke on you. And that was. Oh, fuck, I uploaded that on the 2nd of April. But I recorded it on April 1st, so it counts. That's what I put in the description, and so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so, it's been over a month uh, since I've uploaded a Metabots video, but a Metabots Metabee version of the RPG video, I don't even know how much longer it's been since I've uploaded that. I don't want to look. Um, nobody mentioned it in the comments, or I will cut you. But in this one, uh, we're going to be going through the Rubber Robo Hideout, and I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of uh, a lot of updates. And give me a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to work on it like this. Um, I was playing uh, another GBA game on this emulator, which I've seriously considered doing a Let's Play of after Metabots. So I'm not going to say it's title just yet. I switched my A and B keys because I needed to use my B key a lot and it was assigned to shift. And so I, that's why I was getting a lot of sticky keys. So I switched it to the arrow buttons, much in the way I play Isaac. And I'm going to actually work it like this and see how it goes. I got a lot of updates to give you guys, like I said. But I'll do that during the battles. Right now, right now we got some plot. And so, uh... How do I... There we are. <laughs> uh, this is going to take a lot of getting used to. Can I enter the vehicle? No, I can't. Um, so this is the Rubber Robo hideout. What's the password? 30 imaginary fun dollars says it's the answer to an old fucking rhyme no one said since the 1970s. Give me a second. I'm going to pop this right by the mic so you guys all know. Aw, uh, yeah. Got me a nice cold beverage. Ugh. What's the password? She'll be coming round it. Okay. Or it's the exact... Okay, so I lost 30 imaginary fun dollars on that one. Uh, Nanny? He's in a deep sleep. Okay. He fell asleep. Neato. Today we decide on a new sub-leader. I can't wait to see who gets chosen. The subleaders get a new outfit. There's a metal implanted on it. Implant? Implant mean. He doesn't know what implant means. You know, what Erica's gonna have to get in about 20 years for anybody to believe she's a chick. It's most definitely going to be the head. That's horrible. We'll die. Whoever becomes a subleader is gonna die, right? I don't want to be a subleader anymore. Alright. So. There's no obvious secret passageway behind that tablet thing. Uh, so I guess we can't go there. I'll take this seat then. I guess. Uh, do I go up here and take this seat? Alright, what time is it? It's a barometer. Neat. What does that do? I don't know. Let's go up here. Yeah! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Hey, buddy, you know what we're supposed to do? Neat. Okay, so... What the actual fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, do I have to look at it from this side? Do I have to try and leave? Uh, are you still sleeping? No! Uh, you're not. You're awake and you're fighting me. Okay. How am I supposed to- Ugh. Yeah, it's Metabots again. 
All right. So, um, while this crap is going on, oh uh, god, I gotta get used to all this crap again. Um, first off, I'm gonna update you guys with Isaac. Isaac is a game I very much play in my spare time. Um, whenever I just kind of need something to do while I'm playing. Oh, you have the... Fuck me, I should have known that, because I have one on... Dick fuck. Oh, that was dumb. That... Hit him with the thing. Can... No, you're not going to hit him with the thing. Okay. Back to Isaac. Isaac is a game I very much play in my spare time, so... I keep going into videos being like, well, Oopsie Daisy kind of got this achievement off screen because I play this game. Uh, that's going to be rectified simply by fact of I'm not going to be doing any more videos on Isaac anymore. Instead, what I'm going to do is off screen. I'm going to get to Platinum God. I've already gotten up to Golden God. Which, from my last video, that's kind of a jump up from where I was. So, at this point, it's kind of irredeemable. Uh, but I have gotten to Golden God. And so I'm going to get to Platinum God. And then I'm going to make it a live stream thing. Which I've been doing a lot of, actually. Uh, when my grandparents were still at... Um, on their vacation, which they're not anymore. So, live streaming is going to be a lot less frequent. That being said, um, I don't always live stream, but when I do, I live stream Isaac. <laughs> Essentially. Is what I'm getting at. So, you know, follow me on Twitter at Power of Byakugan. I'll have a link to it in the description. And uh, you'll know when I'm live streaming. And when I am, you know, come and join me. And we'll play some Isaac. You guys can bitch at me for missing the Tinted Rock or something. Or, you know, give me strategies to use. I'm pretty sure I know a lot of uh, Lee to Isaac play from watching a bunch of different Let's Players and from just kind of piecing some shit together myself. So, yeah, that's that's going to be a thing that's going to happen. I'm going to work more on recording more Metabots and more Harry Potter. Mo mainly Metabots. Metabots is the Let's Play I started with. And Zero Master LPs recently started a Let's Play on the Rakusho version. Which, inadvertently, is kind of telling me, Hey, Massacre, you needs to hurry to fuck up. Because, uh, I'm coming up on your ass. I've also thought of making the videos more than 15 minutes. Pretty much, I put them to 15 minutes for organization purposes. Not to give you guys short videos, because, you know, long videos are better. Uh, make them too long, and they're simply too long, right? Uh, I, wait, I'm trying to think. I did do my one hour Metabot special, but that had to have been, uh, that had to have been before I did my April Fool's because my April Fool's ended in front of the boss thing, which let me tell you something. Let me tell you all a little something about a game called Metabot AX. Which is the game that I played. Originally, I thought, you know, this is gonna be... This is gonna be great. I'm pretty fucking kick-ass at Metabots AX. I could beat this game pretty fucking quickly. Uh, that, that was not the case, as you have seen. And in fact, that game sort of kicked my ass. Uh, I won't, I won't lie about the amount of my ass that it kicked. 
you guys got the tame version. I had over three hours of footage of me just trying and retrying and retrying. And I understand that uh, you go and call them. Uh, and I understand that, you know, if you grind more and you get better parts, that you, you would have an easier time with it. But even still, there are some serious levels of stupid in that game. You get cornered in that game, and they will just tank your shit. Out of my way. Wow. I think he just, like, Bruce Lee roundhouse kicked us. But there it is. The, uh, the main leaders of the Super Spandex Syndicate. <clears throat> uh, what up, shrimp lips? You sack of fuck. Okay, so there are six spots. And only three people showed up. Our plan to attack Metropolis using an army of children has failed. There is somebody besides the select corps who keeps interfering in our plans. This is not acceptable. Here, it's this guy. He stole my password idea. What are you talking about? He stole my awesome password. You know, mountain, she'll be coming round it. That's... I don't want to listen to your excuses. You're a dirty thief. Whoosh. <laughs> Actually, it's blah 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 blah. What are you compla complaining about then? Go and settle it with a row battle. Apparently, he's completely serious. Oh, what? You row battle in arenas now? I just fought this fucking dick weasel. We didn't have to go up into an arena. Yeah, sure. Let's get on the stage. Let's fucking do it. Wolverines. Okay, he's got a new team, I guess. His other two guys are the exact same, but he's the head meta part or head leader piece of ass is different so let's let's fight him yeah sure let's let's do it it's actually really funny that the uh the beginning beats to the battle theme that do 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 um is pretty much how fast our metabots moved oh <coughs> shit Fucking phlegm caught in my throat or some shit. <sighs> so what else can I update you guys with? I had more to update uh, than this. Shit. It's like I had everything planned and then I was like, nope. You know, recording time's gonna... Oh! You got hit by my destroy. You dirty little bitch. Yeah, this, this fight's not gonna take long at all. Uh, head for a head? I guess? Um, I guess one good thing to update you guys with is I will be going to Anime North, a uh, very large fan-run anime convention in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, located at the Toronto Con uh, Toronto Congress Centre. Fan Expo is located in the Toronto, Toronto Convention Centre, so this is the Congress Centre, the Doubletree Hotel, and the... Uh, the Sheridan? I think it's the Sheridan now, and it was the Renaissance... Ooh! What's this? Spider is evolving? Very slowly? Arakune has transformed into... Uh... 
I don't fucking know. Arakune mine. <laughs> uh, fuck it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not pleased with that. Well done, boy. Ho ho. You're a hoe. You're pretty good. What's your name? Massacre. Um, Robo 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 Robo. I'll make you a candidate for sub leader. Because you beat one guy who had a temper tantrum. I mean... Huh? Where's the other one? He got a cold. No complaining. Get on the stage. This will decide the new sub-leader. So basically, I'm going to become, like, the lieutenant of the Rubber Robo Gang. I'm going to become the leader of the Meta Mafia. Yes, get on the goddamn stage. Don't give me freaking a choice when it's a linear progression of events. Like, there's no me going back. The guy's going to stop me. I can't grind levels. So, eat my asshole. Uh, let's hit him with the aim shot. Why the fuck not? Um, this should be turned into just, um, the, le the let's play. Let's play, um. The flying cut? Oh. I guess somebody's taking a shower or something. Oh well. So, yeah, that's a thing. I'm going to be going to Anime North as I go every year. If you guys are long-time fans of the channel, you'll see that I've had vlog videos up about Anime North. This year will be no exception. I will be vlogging the entire thing, especially my panels. I will be running uh, six panels. I was hoping, you know, hoping against hope, essentially, that I would be doing a Let's Play panel with Canadian Jutsu. This is not going to be the case. Mostly because, uh, well, one, <laughs> even though I, I guess I really shouldn't be talking, though what the fuck can he say, uh, the head of panels really doesn't like me. And has gotten rid of the rest of my suggested panels, of which I know that Savari, uh, who I guess is going to be known as Rose now because she changed her username. Uh, Savari is still part of the Let's Play panel, but I'm not. I've been kicked off that. Which sucks because this is going to be, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, this is going to be my last anime noir. Stay tuned for why, uh, because I do have, I do have a bit of a video coming out about that, and I'd really like people to watch it, you don't have to agree with what I'm saying, but I would like people to at least hear me out. But, what's the silver lining on this? Well, the silver lining is I'm going to be going to conventions in the States, I'd love to go, absolutely love to go to PAX East. Uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, I would love to go there, meet the Runaway guys, uh, who are basically my Let's Play inspirations. Uh, yeah, they are my Let's Play inspirations, along with people like Josh Jepson that I know goes there a lot, attacking Toucans, Donna Bells. Uh, I love the Versus channel. I love the Runaway guys. Uh, Canadian Jutsu, I mean, if you're watching this, and you're probably not, but if you are, you know you're a big Let's Play inspiration of mine as well. You're... Canadian Jutsu is the reason I became a Let's Player. I think... I think Jesse Cox was the reason I started watching Let's Plays. But I met Canadian Jutsu at Anime North, and I knew him. I, I knew he was an abridger. I knew he did Inuyasha abridged, so I checked that out. 
He's absolutely hilarious. Uh, Shalarika plays Kagome. She's absolutely hilarious. So, I was like, I need to do more of this. Like, I, I need to watch more bridge series and stuff like that. And then on his abridged channel, he posted a ad basically being like, hey, you know, I also do Let's Plays. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. And I saw, you know, how much of a fan base he had, and I'm like, he's having a blast with this. I wonder how much fun Let's Playing is. And so I tried it. Of course I tried it, right? I'm here. And that's a thing. I freaking, I went into it, and I love it. I, lo I absolutely love doing it. You know, I love to play shitty games. I love to rage over shitty games. Really, as long as they've got good gameplay, I don't mind ripping one a, a, a shitty game a new one. Because I've always said gameplay over story all the time. It's like playing Super Mario Bros. 3 or 1 and 2 or 3 for the NES. You play those games and you're like, well, man, the story sucks. It's capture the princess from the dragon. But the gameplay is unparalleled, and you still play those games to this day. I got fucking Super Mario Bros. 3 on Wii Virtual Console, but here's the plot. So, uh, 